It all goes away eventually. Everything goes away. But even I wasn't prepared for the untimely death of a dear friend, a close ally, and a good man. Death is part of ruling any kingdom, but even the smallest roach can cause a ruler to fall into anguish. I, Loaf, the first king of these chaotic lands, must bring it upon myself to make sure a good man is not forgotten, and most importantly, avenged. It started one night when me and my squire, Ian, were discussing a dinner with our new friend, Sir Donkerton. Right, so, uh, how long from now will the dinner be? Uh, might be some time. I think we gotta do repairs on the second wall, the far wall. And then we're gonna have a dining table placed out here. And maybe a little arena area, who knows. Maybe in the town down below, where there's one house that's... I don't know who built it, but it's not necessarily a great work of art, but... It's a start. It's a start of the community. Oh, okay. So, uh... Oh boy, that is loud. Uh, <laughs> how far away? I will gut you like a pig. <laughs> Ignore him, ignore him. Alright. <laughs> uh, what were you gonna ask? Bacon, like a bacon. Um, how far away should I, uh, how far away should I build? Well, it's totally up to you. Uh, down the hill you'll find another house. You could build in that area if you wish. Uh, nice neighbors down there, nice neighbors. Two gay lovers, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll tell you what, if you get started down there, I will pay a visit to you and offer you uh, a large quantity of wooden blocks in the future. I'm tearing down the previous wall and replacing them with stone, so I feel like giving the wooden blocks to you would be, would make good use. You could build a nice home with them. Excuse me, large quantity. should I uh, give them to me? Alright. You know, based on our previous conversation, I thought you were going to offer up your daughter. Oh. oh, yes, yes, yes. By the way, my daughter, adopted of course, Ian, is looking for a prince. Oh boy, he looks like he could, uh, he could really take a pounding. A real pounding. Well, I will, uh, I'll, uh... I'll mull that over and I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> okay, okay. Sounds good. Alright. She's, so she's I... enough for everybody. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get back to working on the wall. It was very nice uh, meeting right. you, being, becoming acquainted. I will, uh, I'll be down there by the morrow, I think. And I will present to you right. some items. Okay. Assuming, is that, assuming I don't get eaten by another werewolf, I will see you later. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Alright, see ya. See ya. Good day to you too, Ian. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> Ian, come back. Don't follow him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a keeper. Jesus. Yep, he's gonna build next to Raptor and Jen. <laughs> I refer to <laughs> Raptor and Jen as gay lovers. God damn. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. You mean the underpass. <laughs> what? You, you need to go down here now. Record go down it. Go down to the front. Flip it. Come down to the front gate. <laughs> oh. Are you down here at the front gate? Yeah, I'm going. Yo, 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 him for me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I you a gift. I'm like, I'm like a cat. <laughs> I'm like a cat. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I don't, I, I, I might be unconscious. I'm not sure. I think he, uh, I think he drugged me. Um... God damn it. Ow! God it, damn oh, it hurts! How do I... I... Uh, it hurts. I'm, I'm, I'm raw. 
I'm trying. Every to part of me is raw. Stop dragging me in. <laughs> oh, what oh, an, uh, oh lord. I'm your new pet, I guess. Oh lord. I'm so sorry, Donkers. Please, please don't associate his actions with this kingdom. This is this is clearly rash behavior, and you need to behave yourself. Here. <laughs> this is some um, uh, some sort of hazing ritual, isn't it? Um, is it consensual? It's, uh, the hazing ritual before I'm accepted into your order, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, starting to get hot in here. Come on out, come on out. Um, I believe I know why the cage bird sings now. <laughs> I think he was just anxious to test out his new torture device, that's all. I, I ser seriously do apologize for his, uh, his actions. But if there's anybody well, that gives you trouble down there in the gay couple, you let us know and we'll send Ian down there to go, uh... Be alpha, be the alpha male. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Uh, I do apologize I for the inconvenience. How's the building coming along, though? I might, I might ask. I, uh, I've got myself quite. Well, I'm trying to get a large abode. I actually ran out of uh, building blocks, so I have to go get some more. There you go. That's a lot left my door open. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you leave your door open? Is that how he got to you? Uh, he, uh... I heard him walking around outside and I opened the door. Well, first off, he... <laughs> he blew this horn. It was just really loud. <laughs> oh. I was curious what to see was outside. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Quite, the, quite the loud horn. <laughs> uh, not very subtle, and so I opened the door, and then all of a sudden I was being dragged along. Ah uh, yes. Uh, so yeah, I don't uh, get like a verbal ver verbal response from anybody that's outside your house before you open the door, just in case it's Ian because he can't talk. So, <clears throat> you know, on account of the helmet, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what it means when he hits the rock against his head. Yeah, gave him a gift. I kind of doubt he does. Um, I think he's trying to tell you that he wants you to take what's inside. Oh, I hope it's not uh, his butt sorry. rocks again. <laughs> oh, right, it's his butt rocks. <laughs> I think I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Anywho, though, I better get back to doing what I was doing. Sorry for the inconvenience again. It Please follow me. Please follow me. <laughs> We're gonna go in here, okay? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Au revoir, your majesty. Yes. Farewell, good sir. <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> I, I pulled him out, he goes, ouch. <laughs> And he's like, that really hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. He's so deep into the RP. He's definitely one of Des's friends, for sure. Two days later, I had the secondary wall to my castle completely finished. I figured I'd take all the extra resources to our friend Sir Donkerton to help him with the construction of his home. Hello. <laughs> I'm confused. Greetings. Hello. I have a gift. All right. He just, uh, <laughs> continue stabbing this sheep. Get the good stuff from it. Do uh, the weapons degrade? Um, I'm not sure. I have not had a broken weapon yet. A weapon break on me yet. But here are some wooden blocks. If you take those, you can maybe right. claim an area with a crest and make yourself a nice little humble abode. It might not be enough to make a full base, but it's enough to get you a little bit of a foundation. I suppose I better get I to give it. Give you though. many thanks. 
your majesty. I, I appreciate it. I only ask one thing. If we ever two are to get invaded, I hope that you'll have my back in assisting us All right. against our threats, if we are to have any. Your accents confuse me. Well, one time you're given Australian, that I'm so close to your Russian. castle, I think it would be my best Next interest to uh, have you back. Indeed, indeed. If you are ever being pillaged, by the way, don't be afraid to sound a horn or something, anything. We'll be down here to check Ian, out the Ian will, will, will <laughs> protect you with your, his uh, life. What if you're clear, Squire life, Ian, who's doing the pillaging? <laughs> um, I'll come. You're pillaging my virginity. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, uh, hmm. If it's consensual, I'll stay out of it. If it's not, just play the drums and <laughs> I'll just awkwardly have to accidentally walk in on you fellas and try and put it into things. You know what I mean? Well, all right. <laughs> we have a deal. All right. Sounds good, man. Yeah. I will be on my <laughs> way. <are> these <laughs> accents? <laughs> have a good one. See you later. All right. <laughs> 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 he said... <laughs> Oh god, he said, I said if you're being pillaged, right? And he says, what if it's Ian that's doing the pillaging, and he's pillaging my virginity? <laughs> it all goes away. Eventually everything goes away. I had no idea that would be the last time I saw Sir Donkerton. He was raided and assassinated that night by a local named Demise. We got this information from an informant named Tyrone, who heard Demise boasting about it with some friends. So I constructed a plan. We were out to prepare the gallows for when we were going to hang and execute Demise for his crimes. But that was when we ran into his lover, Havoc. It's right over here. Should I shoot him, dude? Like, it's your call. Hello! You have uh, werewolf troubles, yeah? No. No werewolf troubles. Just, just some... People troubles. Cody. You have werewolf troubles, correct? Yes. There's a beast behind you if you want to come forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. A My battle a Battle for entertainment! A, ba a battle for the ages. Oh yes. Who will be the victor? Good blow, Havoc. Good blow. Fuck, he's dead! <laughs> oh no! Havoc has fallen! Fuck! Oh no, send a I'm raven! I'm recording that! Send a raven to the king immediately! <laughs> Knowing that Demise had just lost somebody dear to him made me happy, but I was not planning on letting him roam this land much longer. I formed a party to hunt him down and bring him to justice for good. <laughs> I see someone. Person is there. Halt! Halt! Who goes there? What's game chat? Oh! Ah! Just the guy. Whoa, 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 You are under arrest for the murder of Sir Dunkerton. Come with us peaceably or die a painful death. Come with us peaceably. He let us take you in. We don't have to kill anybody I today. Will if your guy puts the crossbow down. It's no, no, no chance. Stop running, or else we'll throw another axe. Put the cross. Stay back. Stay back. Stop. Go. Stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Put, put the shield put down. The down. No, stop moving. No one dies. There you go. That's all we had to do. Look, there you go. No, you were running. Oh wait, I'm bleeding. Wait, I gotta. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, so, so if you guys, guys would like, would like, like to rally, rally his friends, what? <laughs> what's so, the so fucking deal? You are under arrest for the murder and destruction of Sir Dunkerton and his village. For his house. <laughs> this is perfect. You just threw it. That was easy. Immediately. <laughs> Wonder what? I, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> You'll be fine. Take him up top. Put him up. String him up. And just like that, Sir Donkerton was avenged. Demise would no longer be around to wreak havoc on my land. Death is inevitable, 
The thin veil of life and death is always danced upon in these lands. Even when death is expected, there are ones who grieve. But when it is unexpected, the fury of a king comes down.